All right, we're continuing our adventure exploring relativity short message format. But today, we're not doing relativity text message format. We are talking about text messages in general. We have uh, Jocelyn, you have Hi. met before, and Danya over here. So we're going to a meeting where we're going to be talking. What? How is it called again? Text messaging? Yeah, no. What's I the, don't know. Oh, I don't know. What's I'm the name sure. of the meeting we're going to? Okay, we're going to collecting, preserving, and reviewing data from... It's cut off on my screen. Okay. You, you, <laughs> that last part was a little weird. <laughs> you, you, you got the idea. We're going we're gonna to be talking about text messages in general and see what we can learn. So I think one of the bigger issues we have with text messaging is standardization. Right, Danya? Standardization and making sure that you have all of your metadata fields, whether you like it or not. Yep. And hopefully this meeting can answer some of the questions that are in my mind as well as Donnie's. And I'm sure Justin was going to have some, right. some questions as well. So Just trying to learn more. I'm bringing a little camera because last time I brought my big camera, people got, people really freaked out. Jeez. I'm bringing my GoPro and hopefully uh, I'll catch a few glimpses. This place is really nice. Look at this view. Look at this view. Check this out. Yay, it was a good meeting. It was way more talking and way more, much better than I expected. All right, so what did we learn, guys? We learned nothing. We talked We learned. Mess. So it was a really good discussion, um, actually better than I was expecting. Danya talked a lot. Danya was a rock star. <laughs> yep. Um, went over all the problems with text messaging, which we all know. Came up with no practical solutions for any of them, but there, there were some few good points brought up. All right, so here's what we learned. Some of the interesting points that were brought up in the meeting. Compliance companies, finance companies, they don't have data in Office 365, right? That was interesting. They have journaling and all the data is stored in their journals, which is where they do their exports. That, right. that was they an interesting use, point that I... They have to use tools that can be compliant for their seven years of archiving. They don't allow people to delete. Mm. It's like a for next summer. Um, next good point was brought up. Constant change in the chat applications requires constant innovation on collection side. And people who are making these applications, they are what? They don't care about compliance. That's the last priority. They're looking to fill a gap that exists in the consumer area. And they just want to fill that in. And compliance is something they're kind of forced into they're to do what they have to. Privacy because privacy today sells more yeah. than compliance. Exactly. Compliance would be probably the opposite of a self hmm. And have a good good conversation. A good point was made about how phone calls aren't necessarily recorded, so why should all chat messages be? Right? You could call somebody, have a conversation. But that analogy isn't 100% because in a lot of these chat applications, like Signal or like private chat and Telegram, you could completely wipe out a conversation with any trace of the metadata. Or yeah. To a phone conversation, at least the metadata would probably still be existing somewhere. Sure. So we know that people had a conversation, how long it was, but 
but not necessarily where the content is. Very good point. And the last point here is tech folks need to be involved when discussing collections and working with text messages. And that's something I could not agree more. People make up their own stuff, they make the decisions, and then come to tech folks and says, can you do this? And then they're surprised. Can you get it done now? And can you get it done? And then they're surprised if there is some kind of problem with getting it done. Well, don't undo. So yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of what we learned. There are no real solutions offered. So we back to where we were before, only now we're not hungry because we had lunch. So <laughs> improvement in that area. Okay, back to the office to do whatever we were doing. Yes.